Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this, what is now, well, I'm now calling it an M fold card, but it started off with good intentions to be a Z fold card, but now it's this. So you can see the M, the lopsided M shape there. So basically it stands up like this. I really like it, but it was a complete accident. Excuse the very orange yellowy fingers, that's from the eye zinc that I've been using to do these flowers which I'm going to show you during the tutorial. So basically if you imagine just the orange card, that is what I started making. And I've put my mat on here and I just wasn't feeling it at all and I thought I've just used that pretty much six by six piece of pattern paper. Um, so I got out the card from the kit. So this is all using um, a lot of supplies from the Hobby Base June kit. And we got sent these scalloped edged um, six by six card bases. Um, and I was playing around and I put it on top of that and this has evolved. So it's a complete accident, but I think a good accident. I really like it. So yeah, it's an M, M, an, it's an M fold card. So yeah, and again, it stands up like so. So that is the profile that you get really nice and then it all folds flat and fits perfectly into the six by six envelope which also came in the kit so you get three card bases um i actually got two of these ones so i got an extra one and i did say i'd do them a bonus card so these are the two cards that i'm doing um but yeah it's really nice so the products i've used from the kit are the bumblebee die i've used the um the dinky dies we got this flower the embellishments are from last month's kit, I believe, and then the paper there, one of the sheets of the Be Happy by Dovecraft collection that we got in the kit as well. So the bow, the sentiment, and the orange card is my own. Um, but I am really, really pleased with how this one's come out. So complete accident, but I managed to turn it around and not waste anything. So I'm gonna pop that one to one side. What you're gonna need is just bring in all my stuff. So I've pre-done a lot of it just again to keep the video nice and quick so this is the other six by six card base that we got and the envelope so I'll keep them to one side um I've got all these leaves here again sorry these are from my own stash but you could easily just die cut just some you know green card and any leaves that you've got and you'll get just the same effect so I've just got a load of those these are the flowers that I've already done now I've played around again because I haven't used, this is what we received in the kit as well, we got this um, um, eye zinc and it's a French company, Aladine, Aladine. Um, I have briefly had a look and they do lots and lots of um, different colours and different blends, I know they've got like an acrylic blend, this one here, um, I'm not too sure exactly what this one is but it's just a very strong, um, it's just the same as your re -inkers that kind of thing so um like i said i'm not no whiz with that kind of thing so do look it up a bit more but i'm going to show you what i've done so you can see the flowers on this one here are not as vibrant in color now what i've done with this one is i just played around and i cut this from a piece of um card that i basically just covered in this sprayed it added water and just blended it around with my um blending tool so and then I just die cut loads of those flowers and I mean it looks nice and you know everything matches so I was still pleased with that. This time I die cut them all first just on white card. So that is how they come out and you can see the detail on them. So really cute but obviously quite boring when they're just flat like that. So I have now completely brought them to life and you can see they're all raised up. Got extremely <laughs> coloured fingers um, and me and my husband went out for dinner as well and I had this colour finger, it was quite embarrassing. Anyway, so I'm going to show you just how to get more out of them and um, yeah, I think they look really quite cool. So I've already done four of them but you will need to die cut five. So that's my fifth one ready. Um, we got this dinky die as well which was the butterfly, um, sorry the bumblebee and that I've already die cut in just some gold miri card so I'll be using that one. Pop that one to one side. That's the dinky dye, that's the flower one. So that's what it looks like. I'll share any links as well. I'll share all the links um, as always if you want to subscribe to the kit. Um, at the moment you've got now till the 21st of, what are we in July? So you've got until the 21st of July to subscribe for August's box, okay? And I'll share the links just directly below this and you can find out more about that. That's the embellishments and then all of our mats and 
card bases. So that's my sentiment I've already die cut. That's a Dovecraft sentiment, it's brilliant. I use this a lot, happy birthday. Again, I'll show as many links as I can. Right, so you will need um, your, I'd say this is the main card base because this is what I kind of, st this is what I started off with at the beginning. Um, so this is a piece of 12 by um, five and three eighths of an inch. I ended up cutting mine down because it was 12 by six. Um, so yeah, sorry, 12 by five and three eighths of an inch. Along the 12 inch side, you want to score at five and three quarters and eight and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. And then you want to fold up first on the half, well, say halfway, it's not quite, but that one in the middle and then down on that other one. Okay. And then just make sure you go and burnish those score lines. So it all lies in place okay so there is a z fold guard okay <laughs> so um yeah i just wasn't feeling it so that's yeah it just shows you can see that's how my mind works anyway things just evolve from something else um then you're going to need this piece here is to go inside your card i just thought it tied it together so that's what i'm going to write my message on you could mat another white on top of that but i can write on that card um so that piece there is five and a quarter square okay then to mat on your front, so this is your front uh, mat. This is five by five. Then I've got this one, which is this piece here on this bit. This is five by two and three quarters. And then I decided to layer up another piece on top of this one. Just, I found I had a quite a lot of white space there, which is why I've added the bow. So I might not add the bow with this one because I'm now gonna have this pattern paper. So we'll see. Um, so that piece there, did I just say what that one was? So it's four and three quarters by two and a half. Um, and this was paper as well, that was in the kit. So like I said, we got f uh, six sheets of the Dovecraft um, Be Happy collection, which you can buy separately. So again, all those links I will share. So I've done all the scoring, get rid of that. So assembling it is actually all very, very quick. The longest part for me was to do the flowers. So I'm gonna grab my actual card base and then with that piece that we've just scored basically you want to position your card so it is landscape okay and then this is going to stick on top now I've done it so that my measurement is that the top goes flush with the very top of the card so that you get this nice frame at the bottom so you can see all of that scallop detail so that when the cards closed you see, you can see it all the way around. So if you don't have a scalloped edged card, then you by all means can do this measurement. You could have, hang on, if I turn this upside down, so pretend this is your flat base of your normal flat edged base and um, card base, you could have that flush with the bottom like so and not have that gap. The only reason I've got that gap is because of that detailed edge that I've got, but you can still have that flush with the bottom and then you'd have your frame around the sides, the top and the other side. Okay. So make sure it's in that position. And then I'm just going to grab some of my wet glue and just stick this one down. Okay. So focus, like I said, on the top and you will get a nice, just make sure you get your sides nice and even like so and then again just with your bone folder just go over and make sure that glue's spread out and re-burnish that card a little bit more there as well okay so there we already have now the m fold okay so it's, it stands up perfectly and it all folds completely flat and you can see now you get that nice border all the way around so then you just want to go ahead now and add your layers. So this one here is going to go inside, like so. Okay, and then this one, or these two, are going to go on the front. So my white one first. They should all line up with the layer on the back here, so you've got the same border. And then that one is going to go on top. Just think it ties it all in a little bit more. Like so. So I'm going to go ahead and stick all those bits down. Okay, so then open it up. And if you're doing this piece, you just want to stick that inside. So again, I'm just going to stick that one down. Okay, and once it's all in place, just go ahead and just 
burnish all those kind of lines again and then open it up and there is that cool shape I think it's really really good okay so now it's just up to you just time to decorate so I'm going to add my sentiment first because I like to build up all my flowers and things like that so this one here I have basically just already gone and stuck some foam um, adhesive on the back there so it's going to sit halfway on this piece here so half of it's going to hang off the top here so let me just take all this backing off and then you just want to carefully position it in fact if I just do it that way because I've got the scallop detail here I can make sure I've got the same amount on each side and just coming in there I haven't pushed it down yet so I've still got a chance yeah I just want to move that over a little bit I reckon there there we go let's stick that down done then I have my little B, so I know where that's going, so that can be stuck straight down. So again, just popping just a tiny amount, don't need much at all. And just pop that one there. And then start building up all of these. So um, I think before I stick the rest of them down, I'm just gonna show you how I got this, um, all the different shades there. So I'm just gonna bring in my mat here, which is already covered, so I didn't wanna obviously get any more mess where I didn't need it. So I'm going to move everything out of the way because one thing I have noticed is if you spray this stuff, it goes everywhere. Even if you spray it from a very, very close. So basically just a couple of pumps will come out. I think it's because I've got it at a funny angle. There we go. Already I can see specks here, so it literally it's lethal. So yeah, move everything out of the way and just, I've got this wipe with me just to make sure I can clear up anything very quickly. Okay, so that's what we have. Let me get my dry cloth as well. Right, so all I done was get my blending tool and just literally just suck up all of that pigment. We got way too much for this one flower, but never mind. Okay, and then just like you would blend anything else, start on your mat. I'm just going to rub some of it off there and just go around the sides. And you want it to kind of dry as you're going around, just in time for when it meets up again, it will start to blend over, but the colour starts to change but I do have way too much on this let me just get rid of some of this there we go that's better so yeah don't go in as much as I had because I've done loads of flowers before so this is just for this one but where it's drying it's kind of going in a bit lighter now okay so that's that one you can see how the kind of how it changes and then I was just drying them in between so I'm just going to quickly just dry this one off Okay, and then get a bit more of the ink. And then I just dipped each corner of the flower right in and let it absorb a bit onto each end. And by the time you've gone around, you start to get a really, really dark color on the edges. And then I just use my little brush, you can see, like so, and brush away from you. So brush out. And you just want to keep that real rich, deep colour just on the very, very edges. And they are really nice, they, they stay quite blendable for a while. They're quite, it's quite a movable pigment. So I'm certainly going to look into it more. So I do like the, the finish that you get. Just get rid of that excess on the back. And then just go ahead and heat set this again. Okay, so I've just got myself cleaned up and just to show you, there we go. So you just see all the different shades you get from that one color. So it is really good. So I know by buying more of the set, you're gonna give yourself you know, loads and loads of different shades. So yeah, do recommend them, I think it's really, really good. And then all I've done is I always have to bring my flowers to life, as I say, so I've just got my little pin, um, foam mat here, just one of these little tools, and just roll 
the bulbarian end just over to the edges of each of the little petals and it just gives it a lot more dimension now it's just lifted it off and yeah it just comes to life so that's that one and then grab one of the embellishments from one of the past kits pop that in the middle obviously you don't have to do that it's optional but i do like i do like a bit of bling and now is the fun part so again it doesn't matter if you don't have what i've just shown you you can still create this card with just normal coloured card and your flowers um, and you're, you're away. So now we just need to start putting it together. So play around, always kind of put them in place first. I think some of these are a bit wet still on the bottom. See where it's just created more, there we go, be careful. So just start laying them around. I mean, I know where I want mine to go because I want it to be the same as before. So one in that corner one up there and then all the leaves will kind of nestle in around so um some of them i've put on foam um here on these foam squares as well so i'm going to do going to do it all but i'm going to speed this bit up just so you can watch me actually do it bit by bit rather than me actually talking through guys so there's the finished card so one thing when you start putting all these bits on is make sure you don't go over the, the outer um, card base with all of your decorations otherwise it won't fit in your envelope but now you can see there where that comes out um, again when it's flat in the card it looks really nice really presentable as the first kind of impression when they pull the card out and then they see that it does this as well I mean you could certainly do more on the back here you could put your more messages and sentiments there as well I'm just sticking with it all inside but you can see there it stands up beautifully so there's one and two two very different looks with the flowers if I put them up together there you can see but both equally nice and obviously with or without the bow now that I've got that paper there I just think this one I'm going to leave without the bow and I'm going to keep the bow on that one there so again more alternatives for you to obviously choose but I really like them. So my accident has, um, yeah, turned out well. So I'm really pleased. So I hope you like them too. Hope you give them a go. And um, like I said before, if you're interested in joining the Hobby Base Club, all of that information will be shared below. And you can also find old um, unboxing videos and other tutorials that I've done. I will share at the end of this video. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.